Well, I guess I'm not. He's, he's somebody who's well known in the Bronx and has been in this fight from the beginning. Assemblyman Brevet. All right. Thank you. Uh, Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Buenas Good afternoon. Tardes a todos. A few days ago, I found myself in a picket line, lending my support to the workers of Stella de Oro. We've been doing that for months, and I was not surprised when I saw a young man who today is just, just really standing to my right. Uh, run to be part of that demonstration. That's Councilman Avella. So I'm here because not only to join him in supporting the workers, but he initiated the, this press conference with the unions and the, and the workers. And we're here, I'm here, just like he is, and I feel proud when I see the people around us. These are workers, these are people that have been active in every issue that affects our daily life in the Bronx. Some are young, some are, are as old as I am. He might not look it, but the real Larry Home is my champion, and he's somewhere on my right. <laughs> all right, we've been struggling for so many years. I feel so good that today we're also here with Dan Cantor from the Workers' Family Party, because this is about keeping workers working as a family in the ball of the Bronx. This is also about sending a message to this administration. It seems like you're about to spend a hundred million dollars to keep your job. You're spending a hundred million dollars to keep your job. Well, let me give you now, let me give you a piece of advice. And I'm not gonna charge you because I'm not in the business of being a consultant for me. All right. Why don't you take some of those millions and buy out those owners who are trying to use our money, taxpayers' money, to take the machinery and take it out of state and make more money. Why don't you buy this factory, Mayor Bloomberg, and give it to the unions and the workers of Stella Why don't you do that? If you are concerned about jobs and developing jobs, this is where you can prove yourself. Keep the jobs here in the Bronx. That's why I'm here today. But let me say something. I, I suspect, like these activists, we're not gonna let those machines leave the bow of the Bronx to go anywhere. Yeah. 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 Yes! We're gonna tie up the entrance. Up. We're gonna put up a human chain. Up. Yeah. We're gonna invite everybody from this city that this is not a town where developers can come and develop and continue to develop for, for, for us without us. No offense meant to anybody. The Bronx and Stella Oro fight is not Brooklyn and the Ness Arena. Don't look a few said about it. The Bronx is serious about developing with developers. We're serious about developing Kingsbridge Armory to bring in jobs to our community and workers and union workers. 50 years ago, I'm gonna conclude here. I'm getting too emotional. <laughs> 50 years ago, at the age of 23, now you can figure out how old I am. 29. 29. No, 20, forget about it. About 37 years old, I guess. When I was 23 years old, I was very fortunate to get a job. I was very fortunate to become a member of the Capitalist Union. I work in the industrial park of the part of the Capitalist Union. Those struggles in those days is what shaped me today. Those struggles in the, those days and fighting for a union job with a living wage is what allowed me to develop and grow and to eventually, with your help, become a member of your state assembly. So that's why I'm here today, because I will never forget where I was and where I should be headed. It's only one direction. Keep Stella the Oro open for the workers that are working there for over 30 years. Michael Bloomberg, one of your key members, I think his name is Commissioner Marvin, Marvin Franklin. He was appointed by you. He actually got the power to tell Stella Dioro 
We gave you money. We don't want you to take the machine here. That's right. right. Yeah. He's got the power. So this is really in your hand, Michael Bloomberg. Keep that in mind. So we're going to continue to struggle until victory is ours. Oh, yes, sir. 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 Yes, sir.